Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn a program to exchange the content of memory location 2000H and 4000H. So before execution, let's say 2000H is holding 25H and 4000H is holding 55H. So what we will do, we will transfer the content of 2000 which is 25 on 4000. So 4000 will become 25 now and in return we will transfer the 55 to 2000H. So 2000H should become 55H. So that is our aim. For that we will write program from memory location 7000H and first instruction that we will write is LDA 2000H. LDA stands for load accumulator. So it will load the accumulator from memory location 2000H. 2000H was 25H. So this 25H value will get loaded inside the accumulator. So our accumulator will become 25H. Now LDA 2000H is a 3 byte instruction. That's why it will take 3 memory location. 7000, 7001 and 7002. Here on 7000 we will write hex code for LDA. Now LDA hex code we will write on 7000 and this 2000 we will write in this way. First we will write 00 and after that we will write 20. Okay. Then second instruction that we will write is MOV B comma A. So what we will do, we will move the value of accumulator which was 25 inside the B register. So our B register will become 25. We have taken backup of that inside the B register. Then our accumulator is ready to take new value. That's why we will write one more instruction LDA 4000H load accumulator with 4000H value. Now 4000 is having 55 that will get loaded inside the accumulator. That's why accumulator will become 55H. Again, LDA 4000H is a 3 byte instruction. That's why it will take 3 memory location 7004, 7005 and 7006. On 7004, we will write hex code for LDA and this 4000 we will write in reverse order as 00 and 40. Then we will write instruction as STA 2000H. Because of this, whatever value accumulator is holding that we will store on 2000H. STA stands for store accumulator. So accumulator value will get stored on 2000H. So accumulator was 55 that will get stored on 2000H. Therefore 2000H will become 55. So here you can see on 2000H we have successfully transferred 55 value. So half of the program is over. Again, STA is a 3 byte instruction. That's why it will take 3 addresses 7007, 7008, 7009. On 7007, we will write code for STA and 2000 we will write in reverse order as 00 and 20. Then we will write instruction MOV A comma B. Because of this, the value of B register will get transferred inside the accumulator. So backup value was 25 that will get transferred inside the accumulator and new value of accumulator will become 25H. Now what we will do, we will transfer this to 4000H by writing STA. STA stands for store accumulator. So whatever accumulator is holding, that will get transferred on 4000H. So accumulator was holding 25H, that will get transferred on 4000H. Therefore, 4000H will become 25H. So over here, you can see that we have successfully transferred 25H on 4000H and our program is done. See, initially we started with 2000H is equal to 25, but right now 2000H is holding 55H and initially we started with 4000 is equal to 55, but now 4000 is holding 25H. Now let's finish this program. Again, STA 4000H is a 3 byte instruction. That's why it will take 3 memory location, 7000B, 7000C and 7000D. Then on 7000B, we will write hex code for STA and 4000H we will write in reverse order as 00 first. After that, we will write 40. Then we will terminate our program by writing instruction HLT or RST1. So it will stop our program. So after execution, 2000H will become 55H and 4000H will become 25H. Thank you.